The Civil Rights in Black and Brown project is a statewide oral history project where we're going around the state interviewing people who are in any type of social justice movement, whether it's civil rights, human rights, uh, reproductive rights, uh, political rights, uh, whatever. We're mainly just trying to document what people in Texas have done to fight for social justice or to make Texas a better place than what it has been in the past. We've been pretty intent on defining civil rights pretty broadly. So people who've been engaged in school desegregation battles in their towns around the state, people who have been engaged in uh, environmental justice campaigns, people who have been engaged in campaigns to make sure that the media diversifies and, and that the people who work for media companies uh, look more like uh, the rest of America. Anyone who has fought these kinds of battles for social justice, we define as a civil rights activist, and those are the people we've been interviewing. Moving over at Riverside on uh, Jefferson Street. We moved in, and the white people started to migrate. That's from everywhere. The street just piled with them. They're picking ass all kinds of way. Boy, don't you want to move out of here? You don't want to cause no trouble? I said, what are you talking about? You ain't cause no trouble. I bought this house. It's in my house. No, it ain't none of your house. It's a white community. You ain't supposed to be in here. I might not most be in here, but I bought it. So they tried to make me move. Well, you call them trouble, you know, and you out there in that white community and blah blah blah. I thought, I thought we'd call this America. Well, I ain't moving nowhere. So what we've done is we've broken these up into these little five minute clips and it's completely searchable. So there's a controlled vocabulary list of, of all these different topics that we thought that uh, would come up regularly within the interviews. And so that way when you go down to the site and you're wanting to look up like the desegregation of Dallas schools, you can type in desegregation type in Dallas, and you get all these different video clips from all of these different interviews uh, who have talked about that movement. Anybody who uses the website can then, with just a few clicks of the mouse, find very narrow subject information. If there's a journalist or a, a school teacher or a student writing a term paper, anybody who wants to can find three or four or five or six different people talking about that very narrow subject uh, very quickly using our web database. Uh, it uses a sort of e-commerce software to suggest similar clips based on the one that you viewed. Of course, you can click on the subject term itself and it'll, it'll display other terms and then you can filter it by place. It'll also even recommend um, clips based on your browsing history. So uh, all of that's available on our website and our hope is that that's going to make these interview materials much more accessible to many more audiences than other oral history projects in the past.